Joseph LaRusso was born in Chicago, Illinois, 1966. LaRusso's Italian heritage allowed for him to grow up learning of the works of historical Italian artists alongside the help of his parents and childhood trips to Italy. LaRusso attended the American Academy of Art, where he majored in watercolor and picked up oil painting on his own. From 1988 to 1999, LaRusso was hired by Hallmark Cards Incorporated to make greeting cards. While I was unable to find an example of some of his works while working with Hallmark, paintings like Between Sisters and Late Night Read were made during that period of time. He also taught painting and drawing at Kansas City Art Institute and the Scottsdale Artists School. Some of his inspirations consisted of the works of Manet and Voilard. He wanted his paintings to exude those same feelings that were displayed by these Impressionist artists. As you can see, he uses warm tones in his pieces, typically depicting quiet, calm settings that leave the viewer with a sense of peace. Many who have commented on his works before share the same opinions of color choice and subject matter. Some of his works depict scenes that could take you back decades. This was partially the reason towards my interest in LaRusso. His style and interpretations of characters portrayed, along with settings like these, remind me of the works of artists like Norman Rockwell. Another common theme in his paintings showed moments of romance. These pieces were calm, quaint, and conveyed similar feelings you may get while watching a romantic film or reading a love story. As you analyze these paintings further, you begin to realize a slight evolution from within his style. Besides his usual impressionistic ways, he appears to have added more effects. It was this minor change in style that adds to the quiet, dreamlike vibes given off by many works before. His focus on adding these hypnotic additions in his paintings increased in both frequency and clarity as they are becoming a more prominent variable in his artwork. He still creates art that doesn't have these abstract additions, but this change in reality does add more diversity to his work. LaRusso also has a wide selection of landscape paintings, many done in watercolor. However, this one in particular was done with oils. This piece is an example of one of my favorites that was created by the artists. Besides the woman, the next most prominent focal point are the flowing particles that take up the background entirely. Upon closer inspection, you start to make out the shapes of wings that appear to be moths, hence the title. It appears to just exude such qualities like open-mindedness and freedom. Ah, another example of distortion in his paintings. This one reminds me of a computer screen experiencing glitches or buffering. In this one, the emotion being displayed by the woman, along with the choice of colors, appears to bring the painting together. It makes you wonder if the city is being reflected onto the woman, or if the woman is being reflected onto the city. This may help you get a better understanding of the color effects LaRusso adds to his backgrounds. The idea of how the canvases seem to be both colorful and blended at the same time is fascinating. This is possibly my favorite piece by LaRusso. There's so much to look at. It's as if my eyes can't become bored as I scan the piece. The detail put into the faces of each individual is what keeps me enthralled. Plus, the subject matter in general seems to appeal to me. As LaRusso stated, I believe truly great art serves as a trigger into something deeper within all of us. This seemed to trigger that thing inside me, making it, in my opinion, truly great. Here are some more works that follow that cafe style color pattern, making each work appear cozy and crisp. In the end, Joseph LaRusso is an artist who adds such detail and whimsical motions to such simple settings and environments. This leads us up to his most recent piece. Even if it's just simple studio work, the use of cooler colors like these light blues and greens rather than the typical maroons and browns is interesting to look at. Whether or not this is just an exception that won't go anywhere, this sudden shift in palette is just one of many pieces that surprises the viewer with something new and interesting. 
It's amazing to look back on his work and see how much his style has evolved over the years as he includes more abstract variables while still maintaining his impressionistic portraits and landscapes. The thought of how this artist is still well into his career makes me look forward to what he has to offer to the future.